So after a day and a half of driving, we finally made it. Let's see what we can find. Might not be good. Yeah. Well, it's Border Patrol, I guess. I guess they figured out we're not a uh, coyotes. Coyotes. They're on their way. That was scary. While we were in the area, we decided to stop and check out some petroglyphs. Check this out. It's very cool. The coolest one, of course, is this snake. Tell you something about the lay of the land here. I think it's a, I don't know, spider or something. It's hard to make out, but that's supposed to be 1731. Yeah. So it's a date of these glyphs cross. Not sure what that is. Arrow or a tree. I think it's an arrow, I'm guessing. The sun in there. Probably baking down on everybody. So they were making these, taking refuge from the heat. So. Well, if they're drawing snakes, there should be snakes in this area. So now that we found these, we're gonna go out and actually look and see if we can find a white speckled rattlesnake. Wish us luck. And our number one target, the reason we came to extreme Southwest, Arizona, my goodness, speckled rattlesnake. We're gonna go back up. It's like literally 20, 30 feet away where we just left the petroglyphs. Take some pictures where it's a little cooler and a little safer. We'll get him back here. All right, as you've seen, we actually found what we come to target. So it was right outside these glyphs. So we're just brought him back here. It's nice and cool. And uh, we'll try to get some pictures of him. Well, we got our pictures taken of our snake. Look how small he is. Look bigger than those pictures, I'm sure. But screamer of a snake. I, I'm still in awe. Anyways, we'll get him on his way. We'll take him back just uh, 20, 30 feet away where we found him. Check this guy out. Big dude. Probably about two and a half inches across. I don't know anything about him here in Arizona, but... Oh, he just caught him off. Wow, he is eating him off. That's uh, pretty cool. Didn't think I was going to see that. All right. Whoa, we almost got another one. I think he likes me being here. All right, first sidewinder of the trip. This one's Colorado, I believe. Look where we're at. There he goes. Very cool. Love the way these things move. I don't know if we'll be able to crowd him to get a picture or not, but we're going to try. So. Hard to keep him in the camera. But anyways, first uh, first sidewinder trip. See if we can get a picture. We got our pictures. One more shot of him before we get him out of here. Very neat little guy. He worked pretty well, so I'm gonna let him wind on and get out of here. So we've been in California about an hour, doing a little hiking. We come across this cool hat. I don't know whose hat that is, but under it. Check that out. Didn't think we were gonna find one of these. California king snake. Awesome find. One of our number one targets here in California, so very happy to find it. We're definitely going to get pictures of him and see what else we find. We're first day here, so we're excited. Okay, we got pictures, and uh, we're going to let him go on his way right here where we found him. So we are off to find another one.
and another sidewinder. This one's prettier than the last one. Another Colorado Desert sidewinder. A little healthier, I think, than the last one, too. So We will try to get pictures of him. We're on a semi-busy road, but we'll see what we can do. So. Wish us luck. He don't want pictures. All right. It's a weird behavior. He's like, try me, bro, try me. Anyways, we got pictures, and uh, we're gonna let him get on the road, or off the road, we're gonna get on the road. See what else will come across, not as young. And this next find is a western leaf nose snake. You will please have to excuse the voiceover as the wind was blowing so hard, you cannot understand what either one of us are saying. But this was a lifer for both of us, and we managed to grab a pick or two before we got him on his way. All right, we got our pictures of this guy. We will get him off the road. Hopefully he doesn't blow away. And middle of the day, we just cruise this guy, some sort of a horned lizard. Not sure about anything about them over in this area, but I'm the least bit concerned with our presence. Well, we might grab a picture, maybe, maybe not. Get him off the road so he doesn't become a pancake. All right, this big fella does not care about us being here. So. Put him up here so he doesn't get run over. Burn the shade. Tornado's back home. Bad ones in Oklahoma. Good here. First cruised find of the night. Sidewinder. This one is a Sonoran. First one we found was the uh, first couple were uh, Colorado Desert Sidewinders. This is a Sonoran. Found these before, but this one's a little bitty. Grab a few pictures. Night's young. Hopefully, we come across a few other things. Yeah, we got some good close ups, I think, of this guy. So He's little. It's hard to tell, but he's about six, seven inches long. So there's my hand. But we'll get him out of here and uh, head on down the road. And finally, last day of the trip, we're actually headed home, not even looking for snakes. We come across the Mojave out here, sunning, soaking up the sun. Nice to finally find a rattlesnake these last few days out here on eastern Arizona, which is what I've been looking for. He was actually sleeping. We just woke him up. There he goes. Good old Mojave pose. Let's try to snap a few pictures of him. All right, we got uh, a few quick pictures of this Mojave. He is, he's a little grumpy. He's your typical Mojave. Get him off the road. We've already had two ranchers pass by that would definitely kill this guy if they have the opportunity. So we are gonna try to save his life today. Yeah, a little Western Diamondback. We are still in Arizona, working our way back. We haven't done worth the flip all trip over here in eastern Arizona. Now things are starting to move as soon as we leave. Oh, hey, there's no need in that, little man. We're just trying to get you off the road so you don't die. Mariachi music in the background. And rattlesnakes. Don't get no better. <laughs> 